So this is Benjamin Franklin's daily schedule. So what am I doing? What is this all about? Lately, I've been looking for methods and systems to incorporate in my life to be more productive, more effective, and more balanced. Um, I'm on a mission right now, and I'm trying to build up the habits that will help me get where I wanna go. So what's the connection with Benjamin Franklin? Founding father, incredible inventor, he's on the $100 bill, just crazy life, right? In his autobiography, he shares his daily schedule, uh, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I've gotta try this. So here's kind of a rundown, basic rundown of what it looks like. He'd wake up at five in the morning and kind of do his morning routine for the next three hours, uh, including breakfast and studying and preparing for the day. Then he'd work for four hours, lunch and look over accounts, so light work, I suppose, for a couple hours, work again for four more hours, and then from six to 10 p.m., he would kind of do like his evening routine. Dinner, music, or diversion, or conversation, examination of the day, so reflection. And then he'd sleep for seven hours a night. And on the left-hand side, he has something that's so simple and so elegant, and I think that's why I'm so drawn to it. It's basically just a morning question and an evening question. In the morning, he'd ask himself, what good shall I do this day? And in the evening, he'd ask himself, what good have I done today? That's a fantastic question, I think, to ask yourself, and I don't think I do it uh, at all or certainly not consciously. I'm excited to take it on, you know? He, he, I mean, he is famous for saying, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And I think that is like a fantastic quote. Hopefully it, it's true. So it's 5.45 a.m. on Monday. He said to contrive day's business and take the resolution of the day. Um, I'm gonna kind of plan out my day a little bit, do some journaling and bullet journaling. I'm going to meditate. And then he said to prosecute the present study. So I've got to learn something. I'm going to study maybe a little bit of Italian and breakfast. So I'm going to eat some breakfast. All right. Let's do this thing. Okay. This is currently what my Google Drive, just kidding, Google Calendar looks like. That doesn't look scary at all. I think that's, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I signed myself up for. I have no idea if he did the same thing on Saturday and Sunday, probably not, but I'm going to. Why not? I'm kind of figuring exercise might fit into here, into the evening routine. All right, so it's 12.15, uh, so I'm a little bit late for taking the lunch break. I spent the last four-ish hours working. Um, super, super productive so far. If I can have the discipline to maintain this throughout the whole week, I think I'm gonna have a ridiculous week because it was, it's awesome to, to start at five. You know, it doesn't even get light out until like 7.38 right now because it's winter time. So I had like two and a half hours, three hours to, to, to get ahead of the day, you know, to prepare before it even starts. I guess what I'm gonna do at this point then is, well, I'll have lunch and then I'll probably chill out for a little bit. Maybe listen to uh, one of my audio books. Yeah, something like that. I'm so used to being in the opposite situation where I'm rushing through the day, always trying to catch up. I know it's day one, but man, it's like I have so much time. So it's only 4.42 p.m. right now, but I'm starting to lose steam. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you wake up at five and you're not used to it. My plan is to just keep powering through and then go to bed early and hopefully I will feel more used to this sort of system and more rested after a good night's sleep. Super happy with how today turned out. Awesome way to start the week. I'm just rendering a video right now. Uh, it's 9.15, but I think I'm just gonna go to bed right now because <sighs> kind of dreading waking up at five tomorrow. I will be asking myself Ben Franklin's evening question, what good have I done today? It's an awesome question to ask yourself, you know? Day one. Okay, um, I'm outside because I haven't been outside at all uh, today so far and it's almost two already. Before I dive back into work, which is 
all that Benjamin Franklin has for the next four hours according to his schedule. I just wanted to kind of give an update. Things have been going really, really well overall, uh, but I do want to mention a few things. First of all, waking up at five, not getting easier. It was very difficult this morning. Hopefully I get more used to it as, as the week goes on. I don't know if Benjamin Franklin was familiar with the concept of deep work, but that is what I'm trying to do with these four hour blocks of time. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm not used to blocking out that kind of time for work. So I'm trying to make the most of it by doing one activity or one type of activity during that time. I'm not saying I'm doing it successfully, I'm just saying I'm trying. And the last thing I wanna mention is that, and this is gonna sound kinda of weird, but journaling by myself in the dark at 6 a.m. is having such a positive impact on my days. I feel so grateful for what I've got, so so excited for the day ahead because I'm allowed to prepare for it and I'm not having to run from the second I wake up. There's so much time before the day really starts with this sort of schedule that uh, it's, it's awesome. I love that aspect to it. Not used to that. I'm not naturally a morning person. That's I'm, I'm trying to become one. So yeah, back to work. Let's go. Today's Thursday, uh, day four of this experiment, and a couple of problems have come up. The first problem was with sleep. To be a positive and productive person and do the work that I do on a consistent basis, I need eight hours of sleep a night. I can go below that sometimes, but not consistently. There are people out there that are capable of much less, you know, hats off to you. I'm not one of those people. And I honestly think most people are not like that. So I knew taking this on that right off the bat, I would be reducing the amount of sleep I get per night by an hour because he goes to bed at 10 and wakes up at five. That's seven hours. It's seven hours in theory, but in practice, what ended up happening was I was going to bed after 10 and getting even less sleep. The problem is I was trying to fit in some of the stuff that I do in my daily life, like work out, for example, into the schedule that isn't built for that. Okay, so it's 8.50 right now. Uh, at this point, I should honestly be starting like the preparations to go to bed, but I haven't had an opportunity to work out yet. and. He Benjamin Franklin doesn't include it in his schedule. Guess it wasn't that much of a priority for him. So I'm just gonna do a quick little workout, take a shower, and then lights out. So what ended up happening was my productivity, which was really high at the beginning of the week, I was amped about how much I was getting done, ended up dropping off significantly. I remember waking up at 5 a.m. yesterday and just feeling a little bit beat up. And when you feel that way, like you're not, you are not going to be attacking the day and attacking the things you've got to do with the same gusto, the same vigor. Now I think my productivity is actually coming back up because I've been prioritizing sleep a lot more and made a huge effort to go to bed last night at like 9ish PM. But that introduced a whole new problem. I've noticed that I'm spending a lot of time by myself. Already I have reduced the amount of time that I have available in my evenings, you know, at nighttime and added that into early in the morning, right? And that morning time is solo time. It's by myself, I enjoy it, it's really nice, but it's by myself. That, plus all the work time, eight hours of work each day, plus having lunch right in the middle of the day, means there's only three hours of, of time each day, in theory, that I could potentially spend with people for diversion, for music, you know, the things that he included in his daily schedule. But the problem is, that time is also evening routine, winding down, I guess workout if you wanna squeeze it in. So that time evaporates immediately. And what I've been left feeling is that there's like no time to like kind of do fun stuff or do stuff with friends or you know that sort of thing. I'm not sure how he handled it. I know he would have guests over for dinner. He included music in his evening schedule, but I also think it was a different time period. When things got dark, you didn't have a smartphone, you didn't have a laptop, you didn't have a TV, and all of that creates artificial light. You can use that whenever you want at any time in the day, right? Back then, there was nothing to do, or certainly a lot less. Candlelight is only gonna take you so far. Plus, I notice that when things get, when it gets dark and there's not a bunch to do, I get tired, I just wanna go to bed. The schedule is also not built for the kind of work that I do, right, freelancing. Um, I got called up on a shoot uh, that I can't share any of the details about, so I'll just show some clips of me driving. But yeah, like I couldn't follow this schedule and also do that, so I had to kind of bend it a little bit today. I still woke up at five, still did the whole morning routine, etc. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So it's been a week now, this experiment, and here's what I've learned. First of all, it's been a huge challenge. I don't know how much of that is down to my lack of discipline or if he was just an ultra-disciplined individual, but whatever the case may be, uh, I had a hard time keeping up with his tempo. Now, I do want to mention that even he said he didn't always follow his own schedule, um, but it didn't keep him from consistently striving for 
greatness, right? I gained a lot of respect for Ben Franklin. I think I saw firsthand what it takes to be a high achiever. The commitment, the determination, the consistency that you have to have day in and day out. And also, like some of the sacrifices that you have to make uh, in exchange for the, the, the goals that you're trying to accomplish, the, the, the mission that you're on. Also, I do wanna mention, and I have already mentioned this this week, it was sort of a window into a different time period, into a different way that humans used to live. With all that being said, and despite the fact that it was really challenging, I would say it was still a really amazing experience, a really amazing experiment, and I highly recommend anybody who's interested in trying this out, go for it. The evenings were difficult and stressful because I'm not used to going to bed early and I'm not good at it, but the mornings were incredible. and. It was so valuable to me to discover that I enjoy that time in the morning to prepare, to th reflect, to think ahead. I've already started to adapt the schedule a little bit to see if I can kind of mold it into something that could work for me more long term. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed making it. And I just want to take a few moments at the end of this video here to share a few ways that you could potentially support me. Obviously, there's a subscribe button. You can follow me on my social media. But I also have a newsletter a Patreon page, and an online store. And all of those are huge ways that you could help me be able to make more videos like this one. All right, see you soon.